Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a swatch party video. Of course, these are my favorite videos to film just on the fly. And it's a fun way for me to show you guys what these palettes look like on my skin tone and just chat about some new launches. It does take me a long time to test palettes, so I can't give you guys reviews right away. So I think swatch parties are just a fun way to see like first impressions and things like that. So if you're interested in seeing my swatch party on some of the new launches by ColourPop, just keep watching. Also, if you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I usually upload every other day, so you do get quite a bit of content from me. So if you're interested, definitely subscribe down below. I also have a giveaway going on right now. We're giving away a little ColourPop My Little Pony palette. And if you're interested in entering, definitely go ahead and check out the description box. So without further blabbering, let's swatch some of these new palettes from ColourPop. Okay guys, so I bought you in up close and personal so you can see these swatches better. I know a lot of people say it's really hard to see my swatches and some people say it's totally fine. So I personally think it's okay. And if you don't think the swatches are clear, you don't have to watch this video. So definitely don't, you know, hurt your brain trying to figure this out. But <laughs> I did get all of the new ColourPop palette launches, as you could tell earlier. Um, so I'm going to swatch from most boring to most exciting. And honestly, this palette um, was most boring for me. I'm surprised they actually launched something like this, especially since they have the I Think I Love You palette. I don't really know what the motivation was. And then they threw in a mirror because they said a lot of people had been asking for a mirror. I feel like I'm not going to buy a $16 palette expecting a mirror. I would rather them put towards making it better quality or giving me more shadows. But you know what? They try to give the people what they want. So these are the first four shades. I'm always confused with ColourPop if the shade, you know, turned around is the right shade. So that's what I'm going to go off of. So this is the first shade, which I believe is called Candy Graham. Then we have two P's, Moonstruck and The Knot. So let's swatch those out. Now, I feel like these palettes always perform so well on my eyes, which I, which is why no matter how many ColourPop palettes I have, I will continue to buy them because they're so beautiful. Now this last shade I just swatched. Oh my goodness, it's like a berry duochrome with some gold in it. How flipping gorgeous is that? I can't wait to play with this palette now, just based off of that color. And then the middle row, of course, has some matte shadows that are just like screaming my name. So let's get to swatchy swatch here. Here are the finger swatches. Oh my lord, so pretty. Okay, so the next four shades are called... Fool's Rush, Look, See, FBO, and Winning Ticket. So there they are, more like purpley shades. So, so pretty. And then we're going to swatch the last row. Let me just clean off my hands here. And this one, oh, this matte shade also calling my name. So pretty. These are definitely like everyday shades. So if the element of surprise palette is too much for you, I think you might really enjoy this palette. So these last four are called, let's see here, we have Pulling Strings, Want You Back, DTR, and Sparks Fly. So here is the palette, and here are the swatches. So pretty. I just know these are gonna look so beautiful in my crease and like on the lid. Uh, ColourPop just always slaying my existence. So I believe this is still available on the ColourPop website. It is $18 for you guys to purchase if you're interested. This is the one that definitely caught my attention first. This is the Element of Surprise palette. Look at these shades. This reminds me so much of the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette. I will show you why. It's because of some of the dual chrome shades that are in here. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch this palette on this hand. And so let me start off with the first row. I actually wore this palette the other day. So I have played with it a little bit, but I wanted to do a swatch party because you guys know I love giving you swatches. So starting off, that first shade there is a beautiful dual chrome and it's a purpley pink shade. Definitely not seeing something like that from ColourPop in a, 
I don't think ever. And so it's Feels, Late Night, Silk Street, and Rayon is that last color, which is also a beautiful like orange with blue flecks. I've definitely seen a lot of shades like this coming out from the Huda palette, even Pat McGrath Labs. The eyeshadow palettes do have amazing flips in it. And all of a sudden, I feel like, you know, brands are really taking duochromes to a whole nother level. I feel like it started off with the Makeup Geek duochromes, and I honestly didn't see a huge flip in any of those shades, but now with these brands, like look at this. Do you guys see that flip? That's insane. And then there's this amazing pink shade in here with like a, a blue flip. Like these are crazy awesome. Like how pretty. And these always look better applied than the swatches guys so I don't want you to be disheartened and think like oh this is a $16 palette that performs like a $16 palette definitely not these are $16 palettes that perform like $60 to $100 palettes I swear so the next four are go with the flow subdue opulent and labyrinth again here is the palette and let me swatch the last row for you guys these two matte shades on the last row whoo these two, oh my goodness, they're so rich. And then this brown with, it has like rose gold flecks in it. Are you kidding me? Like they're so pretty. Holy cripes. So these, this shade definitely reminds me of a shade in the Tarte Toasted palette. And this red is so vibrant. How beautiful, oh my goodness absolutely gorgeous so let me give you the names of those last four that I just swatched so we have blank canvas sea stars detail and peace of mind so this is the entire palette swatched so gorgeous so worth the money I'm so happy with ColourPop it's insane look at my little stack it's like this like gives me all the vibes <laughs> all the vibes right here and of course this is like a hundred dollars worth of palettes now because you like buy them and you're like ah, it's only sixteen dollars let me buy all of them but so so exciting <laughs> okay guys so now ColourPop is available for you guys to try on Sephora and they came out with a whole collection that is exclusive to the Sephora website now I could have just waited and picked these up during the VIB sale but I was so worried that they were going to sell out that I picked them both up this is the semi precious palette and this was $25 now I'm confused why they're charging more for these palettes um, because all of these ones that you can get off the ColourPop website are under $20. So really, you're going to end up spending 50 bucks on both of these palettes if you buy them without the sale, which I thought was a little bit annoying. Like, I'm a little bit annoyed that I have to spend more than anyone else would have to if they were buying them off the ColourPop website. I feel like they definitely raised the price point, but as far as, like, packaging and stuff, I don't see a difference. So let's go ahead and swatch these and see if you know it'll give us some kind of clue as to why they decided to charge more money for these palettes so here are the first four shades of the semi-precious palette swatch these are definitely like very beautiful satin shades so here are the first four swatched and let me tell you the names so the names from these are celestial beam me up easy go and up and atom and that's this row right here and then now I'm going to swatch the second row where we have West Star, Bashful, Upon a Star, and The Game. So let me go ahead and swatch those for you guys. So I don't know, like, this is definitely not a palette that you can use on its own. It's going to definitely need to be combined with some matte shadows. So I feel like they gave us, like, really good lit shades, but it's not a complete palette. And I really wish ColourPop had done, like, a complete palette for people that are new to the brand because now they're only going to get these like palettes with satin finishes and they might get confused like what are you supposed to do with this you know so here are those four shades I can't tell if I'm in focus hopefully you guys will be able to see these but they give you a nice variety like enough different colors but I can't travel with this palette and I feel like all the ones they've done for their own website I've been able to use on their own because there's a matte shade that I can use as a transition a brow bone highlight a smoky color these are just all lid shades so I don't know that I would say these are definitely worth it if you can get it on sale like during the friends and family I would encourage you to do that but 
I don't know if these are worth the full price. You know what I'm saying? And then this is the one they did all shimmers. This is the Golden State of Mind palette. And you get three, six, uh, nine, 12, 15 shades in here. And I love the packaging of this one. I was showing this off on Instagram stories the other day and it looked really beautiful when the light hit it. So let's go ahead and swatch these. These definitely have a lot of glitter in them, I can tell. So this is what they look like. Kind of remind me of like Rihanna's palette for holiday. So I'm like very confused as to what they were thinking with this one. Definitely looks chalky, but very, very, very shiny. So we have Golden Egg, we have Pay the Piper, we have Girlfriend, Zero Clue, and Watch Out. So that's the first row of shades. And then we're going to do the next row. These definitely have a different texture from the previous palette, the Semi Precious. These are straight up like dual chromey, very glittery, gritty shades. You're definitely going to want to use like a glitter glue with these and tap them on to the lid. This fiery orange color is already standing out to me. It has an amazing golden flip. So here are the finger swatches and let me go ahead and swatch them on my hand for you guys. Look at all of this dustiness. Like these are really, really dusty. Oh goodness. But this is a shade I really like. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. So these ones are, um, we have Drizzle, Uptight, Can't Stop, Sparkle, and Unsupervised. So definitely a supplemental palette. I don't know how you would use this on its own. There's definitely no matte shades in this palette. And now we're going to do the last row, which is going to be a little bit more dark, darker shades. There's definitely like a gradient, you know, from dark to light. So these are the finger swatches. And then I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them on my arm. Okay, so there are the last five shades. Swatch on my arm right here. Okay, so these are the last five shades and the names are Lust in Time, Mind Tricks, Wing Woman, Heads or Tails, and Tinker Time. So there are those shades. And here is the palette, so you guys can get a good look at the shadows next to the palette. Hopefully that gives you guys a good idea on what both of these palettes entail. There is definitely a lot of dustiness on this hand. There's like glitter all over my pants now, so that's definitely something to keep in mind. You're definitely going to want to pick up a glitter glue if you're planning on using these or wetting the brush before you go in. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed those swatches. I definitely would recommend the two from the ColourPop website. I think you can basically get a whole look from these two. Not so sure about these ones, and honestly they're like a higher price point, so I really don't want to say go out and buy these. I just don't know how much use you would get out of an all shimmer palette that's $25 and this one is really pretty but again these shades are just not colors I wear all the time so I have a feeling I might actually end up taking these back I'm just not sure I get such good value with these two that I just can't justify keeping these for $25 like let me know what you guys think do you feel in the same way like I thought these colors would like knock my socks off enough to justify the price point but I'm really not getting like knock my socks off vibes from them so it'll be interesting to see how much use I get out of them I will try and review all of these palettes for you guys let me know your thoughts I'm curious to see if you picked up any of these new palettes from Colourpop Okay hey guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Don't forget to subscribe down below and enter my giveaway as well if you're interested in picking up a free ColourPop palette. I will definitely have more giveaways coming up as well. Thank you so much for watching guys. Bye!